It's either you gonna repent or you gonna perish. Thus said the Lord, feel me? For my people, look, they have cast lots for my people. That idol can be nothing for you. You cast that away right now, brother. Wait, me and my brothers gonna rejoice, and the angels gonna rejoice. Yeah, they eat the seven days. They eat the honey, but it's gonna get better. Like this is the book. Rich shit. What? Rich shit. All this other thing. Rich shit. And I ain't into playing games about prophecy. It's really gonna come to pass. The Israelites are God's chosen people, right? And they are all the other nations of the world. Follow me, right? And I'm following with some mighty Hebrew kings. They had felonies. They used to call my brothers felons. Now they mighty priests. He saw humble down and kissed his boot. Boy, get on your knees. He is unclean to you. The Lord said the pig is unclean to you. Right. You can't indulge in it. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. What? They are unclean to you. So they are unclean to you. So you can't indulge in pig. I know you say you don't eat pork. All praise to the Most High. You used to? Okay, so no more pork. Right? Continue, okay? Verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Now we're talking about what's in the waters, right? What you eat that comes out of the waters? Fish. Only fish? That's all you eat? Okay. Okay, God, all praises. Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters, right. in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. Right, so whatever hath fins and scales in the waters, and those are the things you can eat out of the waters. So no crab, no shrimp, lobster, things like that. Let me get uh, number 15. Uh, this is the book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Where? In the borders of their garments. Or say you got to make fringes on the borders of their garments. What's something that we all have on that technically you never really see? That you don't never see nobody wearing? What do we all have on that people really don't wear? That you see on our garments? You don't, you don't look, at our, look at everybody's stuff. What do he got on that you don't regularly see? Huh? Huh? So you don't see belts all the time? Those tassels on the end of the brother's garment. Do you always see those? No. Right. Those are fringes. Those are fringes, brother. Right. Those are the things the Lord said commanding us to wear. Continue. You out their generation. What? You out their generations. Right. And that they pull upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. And what? And, and do, do, them. Them. do them. That's three commandments, brother. There are more commandments you should be adhering to if you tend to be an Israelite by keeping the commandments and hearkening to the Lord. Or you could just, you know, be in this world and be a heated and, and, and get destroyed in America. Right? So if you love the Lord, do you love the Lord, brother? Right? So you got to show that you love the Lord. The Lord said, hey, you got to keep my commandments. That's how you show me love. That's right. That's First John, chapter 5, right? What's your, what's your first thing? This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, and verse 27. Right. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, right. neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. All right, so the, the brother said, hey, the brother brought a precept out. They stated you can't have a bald head. Neither can you destroy your beard. Right, so you got a beard and you're going to bear out all Christmas on side. That's a command. You didn't even know you was keeping it. Right? Right? See that? You know? So, hey, keep it, hey, keep it fresh, you know? Fresh it up, you know? Hey, have a beard, mighty beard like the brother right here, right there. You know, everybody's striving to have a mighty beard. That's a hey, sign of dignity management. That's right, All right, brother. What? Go ahead. It says, Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Right nor prints any marks upon you, I am the Lord. What do that sound like, brother? Uh, no tattoos. The Lord said no tattoos. So let me get at chapter three. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's the book of 
Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Right. Repent ye therefore. Right, so now that you learn that you're Israelite and you're learning commandments, now you got to repent, brother. Right? He said repent, meaning what? Repent ye therefore and be converted right. that your sins may be blotted out. Sins may be blotted out, brother. So you don't want to ain't harping on to the sins that you was doing, meaning ain't breaking the commandments. You, know, you got to keep the commandments holy. Get that, brother? All right, so you got to repent, confess the things that you've done, and then you start keeping the commandments. Continue. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Right. The time is going to come when the Lord come back and leave all flesh and start a wiping the, the clean slate. All right. That, that, that's, that, that makes sense? All right, brother. What's your name? Noah? Yeah. Oh, it's a mighty name. Right. We just, yeah, we were just talking about Noah. All right, what's your nationality, brother? What we told you? What we tell you? Right, that's your, that's your nationality, brother. You can't walk around and say I'm a, an African American, or, no I'm a Haitian, or things like that. Haitian, hey, if you were so called, you know, and you'll be a Levite, according to the Bible, right? right, right. right? A right. mighty, mighty nation, man. In the, as an Israelite, priest, right? So, brother, hey, take that. Hey. No more Haitian, man. Israelite. Right, right, brother. Let me get you a flyer. Hey, brother, hey, can you give me a flyer? Is in my uh. But it is a light now. He is today. Back to Israelite. Back to Israelite. God. Back to Israelite. 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 Back to I didn't say that. I didn't no, say no, all that. Friend, oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, a lot of people in America. It's a lot. Let me get uh, Deuteronomy 28, 64. All right? It's not just America. We everywhere in the world. You go, you could find an Israelite down there in every country, every every parts of the world. It's not just America. Bring this up. This book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. Bring it up. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So what? And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. The Lord said he gonna scatter thee among all people. I mean, we everywhere in the world. That's it's right. not here in America, right. and we everywhere, right? So, and your friend was correct, you know, say we in America, we go to love, but and we in Latin America, we in Central America, South America, we everywhere, you know. But what, what would you be? What was? What would be your nationality according to the world? Mexican, Mexican, Colombian, right? So all those, all those. To the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments. What? To keep his commandments. Because we didn't listen to the commandments, a he sent these curses upon us. Continue on. And his statutes, which he commanded thee. Right. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. Now these curses are going to be upon thee for a sign. Right. That's how you know if you're this, like, according to the Bible. Right. Court and the Spirit, of course. What, what, what is the Spirit? Hey, all these things is going to show you if you 
is like or not. Right, Katigo? And they shall be upon you for a sign and for a wonder. Sign meaning a and show you, you know, you know, we on Grand Street because the sign tells you. Right. The lyrics say, hey, you on Grand Street. The sign is telling you, and it's going to be a wonder, like a, a think upon stuff. You know, you're going to wonder, hmm. Bam, to you. And upon thy seed forever. And upon thy seed forever. So wherever we go, uh, what century at uh, on, I mean, you know, where we at is, you know, in America, in South America, in Central America, it's going to be upon thy seed um, in the, everywhere we go. Right? right? Let me get verse. Continue. Come on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness right. and with gladness of Next heart. Next verse, key. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, right. which the Lord shall send against thee, right. in hunger. What? In yeah. hunger. And in thirst, and in thirst, and in nakedness. Clothes on our backs, we're going to have to go for our enemies. So anything we drink, anything we want to eat, anything we wear, we're going to have to go to our enemies for it. Continue. And in want of all things. Anything in the world, you got to go to your enemy for it. Right? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So the what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Enemy, and he going to put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Right? Continue. Until he have destroyed thee. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Shall do what? The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. How did uh, our so called uh, uh, Hispanic people get to uh, uh, North, uh, um, Central America? The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Hey, a nation came from far, came over here to so called America, right? Came, you know, did what they did. They uh, hey, rounded everybody up and did what? From the end of the earth. As swift as the eagle flying. What's, what's the emblem for Spain? You know what I'm saying? Like the emblem that came over here. Oh, it's an eagle. Right. Same as America. Hey, same as all these ancient hey, uh, 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 captivities that we went in. They all had the eagle, the personifier. Right? So the eagle, hey, literally, I think we got a picture right here. Where? Not right here. Down here, brother, like all these nations. See that? Right, to show you that the eagle, that's what they use. And the Lord is giving you the, the symbolism, right? They seem like Cortez and King and, and conquered over here to America. Because the so called Hispanic people, they was here before in America. Live in, doing, the, doing what they want to do. Right, brother? That's right. My brother, you'll be so called so called Mexican. Right? A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Did y'all understand so-called Spanish? I'm saying before, like, before they came over. Right, y'all didn't understand Spanish, of course, but hey, like us, English, we didn't understand English, but we could, we know who our conqueror is because we speak their language now. We know the English can conquer us, and we know hey, the Spaniards conquer y'all, right? A nation of fierce countenance. Which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. Sure, what? Nor show favor to the young. They didn't show no favor. At like, all. You know about any of that history? Right, so did they show any type of favor to us? Nah, no, they can't slaughter, they can't poison us. All type of things, man. It's everything. That's crazy. But you know, that's, you know, just a little bit to show you how you is. Like, it's plenty of more things to go to. Plenty of more. Like, right? Well, did you grow up like Catholic or think something like that in your Protestant? Yeah, yeah. Let me get uh, uh, Deuteronomy 60, uh, 28 and 63, I believe. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. What's that, Carl? Even wood and stone. Right, even wood and stone. That's why we in like Christianity, Protestant, all these different religions, Islam, because what? The Lord said, I'm going to scatter you among these different nations, and then now you're going to serve their gods. Right? So that's how you... That's how we know what it is like. It's plain and more things to show you. But that's is the basis of things of how we know. Even coming over slavery on ships. Did you know your 
So called people into slavery on ships too? Alright, that's in the Bible. Did you know that? Right, I gotta show you that, brother. Let me get 68. Uh, uh, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt meaning bondage according to the Bible. Right? You got A guy. to show you that bondage is the sound synonymous for slavery right, right. That egypt is synonymous for bondage to so slaughter and the lord shall bring me into egypt again right. with ships with, with ships, ships. bring you back into captivity or slavery again with ships right just the way he said it all through the precepts right to show you that a hey, so-called blacks hispanics and native americans are the Israelites according to the bible and you can't refute it can't refute it, can't disdain it. Because archaeology archeolo prove it, a prophecy proves it, a lot of things prove it. That's right. All right, brother. So that's how you be an Israelite, brother. So how how do we come back to the Lord? How do we come back to the Lord, brother? If you know you're an Israelite, hey, what should, what should you be doing? Associating with other people. All right, all right. That's one thing, that's one thing. Yeah, one second. Um, bring this out for the king. You too, brother. What's your nationality, brother? Bangladesh. Bangladesh? Oh, you Bangladesh. Okay. Right, it's, the, right, it's, right. uh, it's the book of Sirach, chapter 37, and verse 12. Right. But be continually with a godly man, right. whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. Do what? Who well, knowest thou to keep, keep the commandments of the Lord. Lord. Hey, to knowest that keep the commandments of the Lord. So yeah, you're right. They be around godly men, but ultimately the commandments. That's what you got to know for yourself, man. Right, so do you know any commandments, brother? Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to give you three commandments, brother. Let me give you Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Ah, this is the book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Right. Remember the Sabbath day. Right. The Sabbath day, you ever heard of the Sabbath day? What's the Sabbath day, brother? I'm reading for you. Uh, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Right. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Right. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. The seventh day of the week is the Sabbath of the Lord. Right? What's the seventh day of the week? You sure? I mean, no, I'm going to calendar Saturday. Well, Saturday? Well, well, Saturday, you got, hey, you got Sunday. Saturday, literally on the calendar. You look at the top, it says Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And Saturday is literally the last day. And then ultimately the Lord dictates the day by evening to evening. When the sun goes down and when the sun, when the sun comes up. Right? So that's how you know. So it's technically Friday, Sunday, to Saturday, Sunday, which would be the Sabbath day, according, you know, according to the Bible. Right? So that would be the Sabbath day. So within the Sabbath day, yeah, you can't cook. Right. Hey, you can't uh, you can't do your own pleasures. Right. Right. You can't buy, you can't sell. Let me get Nehemiah 10 and 31. Right. Along with the Sabbath day, you got stipulations. Uh, this book of Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. Sabbath means buy nor sell on the Sabbath day. Right. right, so anybody that's an Israelite that's buying and selling, they will be it's breaking on breaking the law, or literally being sin. Right, it's according to the, the the Bible. Right, so that's you know that's stipulation. Let me get a Leviticus eleven. God, this book of Leviticus, chapter eleven and verse seven, and the swine, and the swine. The swine, brother. You know what swine is, brother? Pork. You eat, eat pork. All oh, praise to the Most High. You said what? Oh, you know meat? Like, nah, hey, you better than, hey, better than us, brother. Go make and the swan. Though he divided the hook and be covered with it, yet he chewed not the thud. He is unclean to you. The Lord said, hey, okay, you are The Lord said, you shouldn't eat it because it's unclean to you. Right. Right? Continue. Of their flesh shall you not eat, and their carcass shall you not touch. They are unclean to you. So the Lord said no pork because it's unclean to you, it's unclean beast. Right? What do you eat in the waters? Do you eat 
fish. I don't need. You know, no meat. No meat out of no fish either. Brother, how are you, bro? Brother, damn, they like the brother right here, man. Brother, I'm acting like that. <laughs> right? Hey, brother, don't eat no meat, man. Yeah? yeah, brother, right here. Hey, so, hey, the, according to the Bible, you can only eat in the water. It's only um, fit, um, things out of the water that have fins and scales. That's the law. So, hey, you don't already eat, you know. No shellfish. You eat shellfish? See that? Hey, I'm praised to see it. Hey, Lord, hey, blessed you, man. All right. Blessed you, man. Hey, you going to be allergic to shellfish, man. All right. You shouldn't eat it no way, right? It's a dirty, clean animal. 50, right? Roaches. Let me see. Right? We're going to bring it out for you, though. That's okay. Verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever has fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas, and in the rivers, and of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. Should be what? They shall be an abomination unto you. They shall be an abomination unto you. Say, so the Lord say they abominable, man. You shouldn't even touch something that's abominable. Would you touch something that's abominable, brother? No, no not at all. You got to be It's the book of Second Kings, chapter four, verse number thirty-nine. And one went out into the field to gather herbs and found a wild vine and gathered thereof wild birds his lap full and came and shred them into the pot of pottage for they knew them not so they poured out for the men to eat and it came to pass as they were eating of the pottage that they cried out and said O thou man of God there is death in the pot and they could not eat thereof that is death in the pot and they're not going to eat thereof yeah. right that's how they looked at that stuff man death in the pot Hey, they, 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 they rather die before they eat that type stuff. Right. right. Hey, that's this like business, man. You be his like. Right. You gotta have that thing. Hey, you, you said you aren't eating already, so they all pick to the most high. Hey, hey, brother, he already on. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I have to go to like, my girl. That was gonna be our last uh, question for you, man. You got any, do you have any questions? No, no questions. All right, so how you know you is like now, brother? How you know you be is like? I gotta get one more commandment. Let me get uh, uh, Leviticus 19, man. Yeah, come. Uh, this is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord said you can't ball your head. Hey, brother, so you can't trim your beard. So you can't trim your beard, brother. Hey, brother, hey, you see me? You see me, brother? Hey, one side grows longer than the other, literally. Hey, I keep it. I keep it, though. God follow the commandments, brother. You don't, don't care about what society say, man. You know what I'm saying? Got to, man. Hey, you think I want one long beard, a uh, one long side brother than the other? You think I want, want that technically? No, I wouldn't. Nah, that's good, God. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so. You said what? Hey, little stove will start fire. You know, brush it out. Keep it clean. Ain't mine starting to grow now. Man. So, just brush it out, man. Put the oils on it. You feel me? Yeah. So, you gotta keep that beard going, bro. You can't shave it off. That'll be, be destroying, the, destroying your beard. You can't all be as lucky as this guy. Right? Hey, hey, I'm not lucky, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, brothers ain't lucky, bro. Hey, hey, you keep, hey, you, you keep what we can grow. <laughs> hey, we keep what we can grow. Hey, man. You know? Whole team, right you know? So, hey, Lord said you got to keep a beard. You can't shave. You can't destroy your beard. And hey, we don't short. You don't destroy it. You know, it's all what the Lord said, not, you know, how we feel to the spirit. Hey, ultimately, the Lord can bless you with a beard, man. Like, yeah, it's going to be patchy no more, man. And, and the Lord said, hey, also continue on that. He said, hey, no tattoos. So I'm cutting your, your flesh up. So no tattoos things like that if you had tattoos already a hey, repent you know, you know and not get no more tattoos that's right because brothers up here i got tattoos brothers up here got tattoos but brothers not gonna go and get a, a, a appointment 
after this, you right. go get a tattoo. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying, brother? So if you Israelite and you believe in it, you Israelite, hey, those are the things you gotta keep, man. Ultimately for yourself, and right. for us as a nation of people. That's right. And if you do you love the Lord, brother? Okay, if you love the Lord, you gotta keep his commandments. Cause that's how you say you show love. The literary Lord said, if you love me, you're gonna keep my commandments. That's first John chapter five. Right? Let me bring bring it out for him. First John chapter five and verse two. You know, by this we know that we love the children of God. Right, that's how you know you love us, man. Right. When we love God right. and keep His commandments. His commandments. That's how you know if you love your brethren. Facts. Everybody say, hey, you gotta love your brethren. But I own her to love my brethren. I gotta keep the commandments. Facts. If I love God, I gotta keep the commandments. Right? See you. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. That we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. Commandments is not hard, but it's, right. it's very simple. For be simple, simple for us when we walk down this this brick road right here. You know what I'm saying, brother? So you'll be Israelite, brother, right? All right, brother. What's your name? Joan. You said what? Joan. Joan. Okay, nice to meet you, brother. Sorry. Right. So that's what we're here to do: is wake our people up. Hey, Lord willing, we'll turn back to the Lord and start following His commandments, brother. Right. Keep, keep the commandments. Right. All right, brother. Got any questions? All right, brother. I'll pray some more side, brother. Thank you for your time. Okay. It's essential to fear the God. Right. Hey, Lord willing, hey, the brother, you know, and you pay and keep the commandments. That's what it's all about, man. All right, let me get A, Cyrac, chapter 48. Let me get Luke, chapter 2, 49. Uh, it's the book of Cyrac, chapter 48, and verse number 8. Who anoints? Yeah, right. Who anoints his kings to take revenge right. and prophets to succeed after him? Right. Who was taken up in a whirlwind of fire right. and in a chariot of fiery horses? Eight, huh? Verse eight. Who anointed kings to take revenge right. and prophets to succeed after him? Right. Who was taken up in a whirlwind of fire right. and in a chariot of fiery horses? Who was ordained for reproofs right. in their times right. to pacify the wrath of the Lord's judgment before it break forth into fury right. and to turn the heart of the father unto the son and to restore the tribes of Jacob we'll do what? And, and to, to restore, restore the, the tribes of Jacob. What we'll we doing out here? And, and to restore the tribes of Jacob. Hopefully we'll that brother uh, Johan do what? And, and to restore the tribes of Jacob. The brother Noah, man, to restore the tribes of Jacob, man. Hey, hopefully them two brothers hearken and they coming in this thing full flesh, man. Let me just bring this out, King. God, this is the book of Luke, chapter 2, and verse ah. 49. Oh. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wish ye not that I must be about my father's business? Said what? Wish ye not that I must be about my father's business? Hey, and doing the things appointed the Lord appointed us. And we about our father's business, man. That's right. right. And doing the things that the Lord commanded us to do through the Spirit, man. Hey, we're going to be preaching the word. We're going to be in and out of season. Hey, in season, out of season. We're going to do, we'll do what the Lord requires us, man. Right. All right. brothers, and that's what we're here to do, man. Do the Lord's business, man. And that's it. Right? Let me get, um, close up with the next money better get in this thing. Right? Let me get a, uh, sorry, right? Like the 35, verse 17. And yeah, hold that. Got this book of Syrac, chapter 35. Sex workers, sex workers' rights are human rights. Sex workers' rights are human rights. This book of Syrac, chapter 33, and verse 17. <laughs> Consider that I labor not for myself only. So what? Myself we don't consider, we don't live for ourselves, man. Continue. But for all them that seek learning. For all them what? But for all them that seek learning. For all them that seek learning through the spirit, right? Continue. Continue. Hear me, O ye great men of the people. Right. And hearken with your ears. And what? And hearken with your ears. Uh -huh. Ye rulers of the congregation. Right. Your rulers of the congregation, man. Hearken with your ears, man. 
right? And that's what we gotta do. Hey, be more, hey, be swift to hear, hey, to, to speak, man. That's right. Right, bring this out, Colossians 1, 25. Uh, this is the book of Colossians, chapter 1, and verse 25. Whereof I am made a minister according to the dispensation of the Most High, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of the Most High. To fulfill the word of the Most High. Even the mystery which I've been hid from, had been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to a saint. Is now what? Is now made manifest to a saint. Now it's been manifest to a saints, man. That's why brothers is out here hey, at a uh, all, uh, all um a uh, uh, massive rate. Hey, and brothers in East Coast, West Coast, down south, a hey, north, south, and hey, we out here, man. Right, continue. Uh, to whom the most high would have would made known what the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. Among the, among among the, the Gentiles, Gentiles. Which is a Mashiach in you, the hope of glory. The hope of what? The hope of glory. The hope of, what? The hope of glory. The hope of glory, man. Continue. Whom we preach, warning every man. What? Whom we, we preach, warning, warning every man. That's what we're doing, preaching and warning every man that come upon us, man. And preaching every man and woman that comes and is running up and down the state. Right, continue. Whom we preach, warning every man right. and teaching every man in all wisdom, right. that we may present every man perfect in a Mashiach Yahushai, whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, right. which worketh in me mightily. Which working what? Which worketh in me mightily. Which working mean what? Which worketh in me mightily. We working in me mightily because we're not timid up here. We're not scared of a damn thing out here. Right. Any doctor want to come up here and we're going to slay it through the power of the Spirit of the Most High Yahweh. I shall my show, my Yahushai. With that, come here, show. Come here, show. Come here, show. Come here, show. Come here, show.